Welcome yet again, ladies and gentlemen, to another WGU video. The class I have passed this time was Web Development Foundations, so D276. And just like every other video, I'll give an outline of what I did to pass and just go over every single thing. Um, <clears throat> so off the bat, one thing I noticed for this class, just from looking at the course chatter, is a lot of people like to dog on a lot of people like to dog on the side books when <clears throat> when it comes down to it the side books is probably the best resource you have to learn the material from scratch I'm gonna repeat that again the side books is the best resource you have to learn material from scratch so, my recommendation for this is, a lot of people recommend to watch the Travesty Media's video, uh, Travesty Media videos on HTML and CSS. I think you should do that after you do that section in the Zybooks. So, for example, Travesty Media, he has a, a YouTube video, and I'll link all this down below, but just to show you guys, to be kind of visual here. So, uh, let me go to YouTube. So, Travesty has a tutorial on HTML and CSS. First one is an HTML crash course for absolute beginners. My recommendation would be in the go to the Zybooks, and really in the Zybooks, the only chapters you're gonna stop, you're gonna like only do chapters one, two, three and every chapter that goes over um, CSS. Besides that, use ChatGPT to teach you about XML, which is on the test. There's probably like five questions. But really, a lot of the OA was you needing to know. I remember like the first 20, 30 questions, they're just asking you HTML. And more specifically, they're asking you HTML that has to do with the uh, on how it does displays the text um, so know about parent and child elements um, strong emphasize italicize definitely know all of those because there's a lot of questions on those and then there are a lot of CSS questions in there as well um, <clears throat> you know, know your classes, know what selectors are used in a CSS declaration block. So like an element selector, a class selector, an ID selector, you know the difference of what they look like, a pseudo class selector. Um, they go over that a lot. Ask you what type of selector is being used in this declaration block. And then they'll just have a lot of, um, questions where they'll give you code and I want you to look through it and they'll ask you like okay what's wrong with the code specifically here make sure you know what the code's supposed to look like and they tell you which line you're supposed to look at so it's pretty easy you just have to know like oh maybe it's just missing a semicolon this and that blah 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 so <clears throat> those are mainly the questions I saw there were a couple on debugging uh, which I think is annoying right like I didn't really do that. I probably missed all of those, to be honest with you. Um, so what I did is, I had I had already had done this course when I was still in a cybersecurity degree. I had done this course with the previous version, which was C779. And I started off with the Travis D Media videos, and I remember I took the PA and I failed. Same as this, I failed the PA. So this time around, I didn't do the Travis D Media videos because I didn't feel like I was picking up that much. He kind of just, he explains a lot of things very well, but it's not for, for absolute beginners, I don't think it's what you want. You kind of have to learn the syntax first. <clears throat> and he does go over that, but not in depth as the sidebox goes. So, again, I would go Zybooks, go over all the chapters, because they teach you a lot of the uh, syntax. Take notes in Obsidian, 
my go-to note-taking tool for now. It is what it is. <clears throat> Take notes in Obsidian while reading the side books. If you want, you can watch the Traversy Media videos. <clears throat> and then after that, I personally say, go for the PA. Look at what you missed. And then review it in... Uh, and they recommend this a lot. Review it in W3 schools. Right? Let me see if I can get it pulled up. I think it's this link. Yeah, so in W3 schools, you can go to CSS. They got everything here. You can look it up. Um, whatever questions you miss, depending on what, go look at it here. This will let you know everything. Like It'll explain to you what it is that you missed in the PA. So yeah, take the PA. <clears throat> go over what questions you missed and review them. And that's it really. I mean just like use the Zy use the Zybooks and use those questions you missed as well too to review what section that was in the Zybooks. I didn't use any man, I didn't use any of the uh quizits. People say that's like a good learning tool. I didn't use that crap at all, man. Uh, I tried the I don't know what it was called, the escape room. Did that one. It's pretty easy. Goes it's alright. It's just a little game. Um But I think if you do most of what I outlined, you'll be fine. Like and the reason I say you don't have to go to through the debugging, you don't have to go through all the chapters in the side books, especially the debugging. What I did literally was <laughs> the PA questions I missed on uh, the PA questions I missed about debugging. I put them in the chat GPT and asked them, or I just looked them up, and they told me because I mean it's literally like you just have their memorization questions. They're not really like theory or whatever. But I'll show you guys. So I did really bad, right? <clears throat> for CSS uh, when I took the PA so I went over here I reviewed it in Zybooks which I'm not going to show then the specific questions I used uh, I missed here I went over oh and definitely know your Flexbox Flexbox uh, Zybooks was over there there's a lot of questions on um, Flexbox and um, and grids remember that too um, but I mean, this class took me a while, man. I mean, it took me... When did I start this class? Let's see. Let's just check real quick. Don't think this is going to... I don't think for most people this is going to be a quick class. 10, 20, 23. So, about three weeks. Uh, but I did pass this, I think it was like three days ago. 11, 8. Yeah. So, <clears throat> and I'll show you all my coaching report. I mean, resolving software problems. I literally never went over this in the side books. I just... Review, like whatever I missed in a PA, I reviewed in ChatGPT. So, just goes to show you, uh, creating web, uh, basic web documents. Again, XML and HTML. And another thing I forgot to mention, let me bring this back up. Another thing that was really useful, that I 100% recommend, is when you go to Quizits. I did use Quizits, but not the quizits that everyone recommends. Everyone recommends the demystified HTML. The demystified, I don't know, it's like some crap. I did... I'm going to pull this up quickly. Do all these, man. Do all these and review all your questions, too. I for completely forgot to bring that up, so my fault on that. But do every single one of these and go back and review every single question that you missed. And if you do that, I guarantee you will pass. I guarantee you will pass. If you put, if you ask ChatGPT wise, you know, there's a lot of true or false questions. This really helped me understand how to put everything together. <clears throat> after I did those other two things, so again, just to summarize, Zybooks should be your number one priority. Afterwards, you should mess with Traversy. Try to create a website. I don't know. Mess with, just mess with it a little bit. Have fun with it. Don't get too stuck in the theory, and you know, don't get bored. I think that's the most important part. Take the PA, fail it, review those questions, come back and do all these, review those questions. Take the OA, 
and, I, and you'll be ready. And make sure you do the generate D276 code examples quiz, because I swear to you, questions on the OA are in there. Uh, that's the only thing I'll say. Questions that were in the OA word for word were in there. And then also do this uh, objective ob objective assessment simulation quiz. You do every single thing I'm, I'm showing you here, you, you will pass. And make sure you're under D uh, D276, not C779, because that's a deprecated course. But that's it, guys. Again, I put links in the description for everything, and I'll summarize again in the description for everything. But that's basically what I did to pass. And as you saw, I mean, I didn't do stellar. Right, I took three weeks. I didn't do stellar, and you guys, you know, you guys give me a lot of praise. I appreciate y'all, but this was pretty hard because of the amount of stuff you have to learn. But don't let that discourage you, man. As long as you do a little every day, you're gonna get good at it, one way or another. You can't work on something every single day and not get better. So, and as you can see, I barely passed. So, next up for me is calculus one. Wish me luck. You know, I, I really want to try to. You know, I'm, I'm already accelerating past the four classes that were assigned. really want to try to get three more. So hopefully I can get calculus done. I still have about 11 weeks left. So, wish me luck, guys. <sighs> I appreciate y'all for watching my videos. Please like and subscribe if you think I'm helpful. If you think I should improve on anything, please leave a comment. And that's it. You guys have a rest of your day. Bye.